How would you describe the difference between penciling and inking? Like, oh yeah, so penciling, like you're you have a lot more control over everything. Inking, you're just a backseat driver, screaming like left, left, left. <laughs> you know, like, there's not much you can do. There's a couple guys that are uh, very, um, they're very heavy uh, as far as like what they could do with the work, like a Klaus Janssen or an Al Williamson. Like you knew that those guys had come in, or a, a Bob Layton. Like you knew that those guys, those guys had come in. They had a certain thing on their desk at the beginning, and they changed it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like it wound up being something completely different at the end. Uh, Bill Sinkevich, that's another person that yeah. I would sort of categorize in that uh, category. But uh, but um, but I was never that strong uh, an inker, and uh, I was always. Uh, I was always just trying to serve the story. So as a penciler, like I get a lot more joy like uh helping to create the story and serve it more than inking. You're kind of you're 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 almost like the editor of the artwork. You're the last person that touches it really. Yeah. Before the colorist at least. And um, you know, it's it's whatever value judgments or judgments that you make about it that sort of finish it off. But um, you know, it's a it's a kind of a it's a lot like uh, having a music producer. You can have like a song that someone will come in, like an Avril Lavigne will come in, and then like they'll they'll have a song that they've written, and then the producer will kind of shape it. Do you know what I mean? Like they'll say like, "Oh, we should have drums here, or tom toms here, or uh, or like uh, you know, whirlets are here," yeah. and uh, th- those kind of recommendations, those kind of things, like wind up changing the flavor of the song. But someone's come along and made the song in the beginning, you yeah. know. So these these work for hire things, especially like um, they're just kind of um, uh, they're piecemeal, you know. They're, they're, they're or it's not really piecemeal; it's just a group effort. Yeah, it you is. know. So you get lots of if everybody's on the same page, it can be amazing. If everybody's not on the same page, it can be amazing too. But it can be, uh, it's a but it can be a, yeah, a difficult kind of thing. Some editors like to be uh, Dr. Frankenstein, so they'll put like. Um, a Sal Buscema together with uh, uh, Bill Sienkiewicz and get some c- kind of different yeah. creature, you know what I mean? But like, but you know, it's it's catch as catch can. Some sometimes that's a good idea, sometimes it's not. No, whenever you you're creating that, so someone comes into you with like a blind pitch, say like, okay, I have this idea. It's about um, you know a story about hell for whatever reason. Yeah. Do you go and say, okay, I'm going to do the story that's going to serve the theme of this best and this is what style I'm think I'm thinking oh, about. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, there was a there was a, a story uh that was in a not not brand X X X uh, well, not brand X. It's like uh it was a humor stu- okay. it was a humor magazine that Marvel put out in the 70s or 60s and then they revived it recently. They threw out like a and I think that they wanted me, when they gave me the script, it was like a seven pager. When they gave me the script, I think they were expecting it to be kind of serious and like a moody kind of piece. But uh, I I loved Marie Severin and um, Wally Wood's takes on uh, the superhero genre in the 70s and mm-hmm. 60s. And I thought, well, I'm just going to go full bore and do that sort of thing. I handed it him in, and the editor was like, not what I expected, <laughs> but awesome nonetheless. So, you know, like, uh, I use my judgment. Like, I'm not yeah. going to, like, try and do, like, a funny funny animal book, like, if I'm like, doing an Iron Man yeah. comic or something <laughs> like that. You know, but it does throw people off. I, I try not to be, like... You know, like, ha ha, here you go. <laughs> you know, this is this is what you deserve. You know, <laughs> of course, I'm gonna follow whatever is happening on this story. Of but, course, yeah, I love it. That's so much fun. 